Hello artists, today we're going to take some inspiration from one of my very favorite artists. I hope you're ready. Her name was Pasita Abad and she was originally from the Philippines, but she lived here in Singapore for a while too. She loved circles and she loved bold, bright colors. As a matter of fact, sometimes she called herself the ambassador of colors. She wanted her artwork to make people smile. She also believed that artwork didn't just belong in museums, that it should be accessible to everyone and that gave her a really big idea. She painted a bridge here in Singapore, and it is bold and bright and colorful. And here's Miss Kasky to tell you about it. Hi everyone, I'm at Alcoff Bridge here in Robertson Key. This is the bridge that Pasita Abad painted. She used over 900 liters of paint and had a team of people helping her, and it took over a year to plan and finish. That sure is impressive. Do you know she used 55 different colors on that bridge? Amazing. Look at the hand painted circles on the railings. I bet you that took a long time. And that was probably the easy part. Painting way up top required some special equipment. All right, we're gonna give a couple of other Singapore landmarks a Pasita style makeover. Are you ready? You're gonna start, of course, by putting your name and your table code or class code on your paper. And then when it says inspired by, you're gonna write Basita Abad's name. We're gonna use these really bright, bold tempera paint sticks. And you can see Miss Kasky here is adding some circles, uh, some polka dots, because you know, Basita did love her circles, but you're not limited to circles. Here she's gonna add some stripes to the merlion. All right. Now, you'll notice that these stripes are, are thinner. That's because she's simply using the edge of the stick right there to draw those thinner lines, okay? So it's up to you. How, how do you think you could improve on the merlion? All right, so you can uh, switch colors, but please make sure you put the cap on nice and tight when you're finished with one color and put it back. And then you can just pick out some other favorite colors, add some more stripes and details. Um, maybe you want to add uh, some of these little V-shapes on the tail. Also, don't just stick to the inside the merlion. You can color outside the merlion as well. So in this case, Miss kasky has gone back and she's added some yellow to the merlion and some yellow uh, background. Now, they're going to be a bit of a tag team here because here comes Miss Carney to finish it. So she's adding lots of bold, bright colors to the background and she's going to add some more circles and dots because we love them and some patterns on the base as well now not just the merlion you're going to give the marina bay sands a bit of a makeover too all right i can't wait to see how you improve these famous singapore landmarks all right go forth and be brilliant